Aspirin mask is not something new, but many people are not aware of this amazing mask and the potential it has for clearing your skin. This tutorial, you will need a bottle or a box of standard aspirin. Before we start, let's get down to the basics about why aspirin works so well on our skin. Aspirin is made out of salicylic acid, also known as beta-hydroxy acid, BHA for short. BHA is an exfoliant and has anti-inflammatory properties. It causes the cell on the epidermis to unstick itself, removing the dead skin cells off and allowing regrowth for new skin. Studies have shown that BHA improves wrinkles, hyperpigmentation of the skin, photo-damaged skin, roughness, and also acne. Whenever you get a chance, visit your local drugstore. You will see many skincare products that cater to acne-prone skin tends to have beta-hydroxy acid in their ingredients. Instead of calling it BHA, they like to label it as salicylic acid. They usually come in at a concentration of 1% or 2%. The downside to beta-hydroxy acid? The skin becomes more susceptible to sensitivity of the sun by 50% meaning you will need a good SPF moisturizer after you use this mask. Find one that contains UVA and UVB protection. UVB affects the outer layer of the epidermis, which causes sunburn, while UVA affects deeper into the skin, which causes cancer. Now that we know that aspirin is basically one of the main ingredients in many expensive acne products, we can be happy to know that aspirin costs a few dollars. With the unstable economy, the last thing we would want to do is spend hundreds of dollars on products that may not give promising results. With the aspirin mask, if it does not work for you, at least you can keep it in your cabinet to treat your mild pains. So let's get started on materials. Head over to your drugstore and grab a small bottle of aspirin. Make sure it is uncoated. You will know that it is uncoated if it does not state on the bottle, coated. Or you can pick up BC. BC is basically powdered aspirin with caffeine. Caffeine is known to remove toxins from the skin cells and helps improve the surface of the skin. Remember, avoid coated aspirin. You can read it here that this one is coated. Uncoated aspirin dissolves faster. I'll show you why you should avoid coated aspirin. Don't forget honey. Honey contains enzymes that have been proven to heal the skin. It helps to restore and rejuvenate the skin, making it appear younger, softer, and smoother. If you are allergic to honey, I recommend aloe vera or sticking to just plain aspirin. I like to use honey with my aspirin because the honey is sticky and it gives my mask an adhesive base. Now, have your honey ready and your regular strength aspirin or BC powdered aspirin ready. Let me show you quickly why you should avoid coated aspirin. Here, I'm wetting the aspirin with a few drops of water. I'm going to wait to see how long it takes until the aspirin dissolves. Now, if you're using an aspirin tablet, take out three tablets and place them onto a small plate or on your hands. Place a few drops of water onto the tablets. One or two teaspoon is enough. Now, if you're using BC powdered aspirin, take out one of the packets. Inside the box, it should look like a packet of gum. Now, take out one packet and open it. I recommend doing this at home. I mean, look at the powdered aspirin. It looks like a different kind of drug. So yeah, avoid busting it out in public. Pour the contents onto the plate or in your hands. For this one, you really need a teaspoon of water, if not less.
Squirt a few drops of honey onto your aspirin. and apply it onto your face. I will apply on both, one on one half of my face. Here, I'm using the regular aspirin tablet. The texture is more gritty, perfect for deep exfoliation. The BC Aspirin Powder is softer, no grit at all, but a fine texture making it gentle enough for a daily exfoliator. Now moving on to the coated aspirin, it's been over 10 minutes, and the outer skin of the coated aspirin mask has softened up, making it easier to peel away. Now we have an uncoated aspirin. It has been 15 minutes. Time to rinse off your face. Rinse off in a circular motion to exfoliate your skin. Now you're finished. I call this the aspirin effect. It's a tingly sensation that you get. Your skin should feel extremely soft and smooth and you should notice a reduction of redness within two weeks. I recommend using the aspirin mask once or twice a week. No more because your skin will grow tolerant to this mask. So that concludes this tutorial on the aspirin mask. I wish you beautiful skin. Ce petit bout de femme t'emmène loin. Tout est perdu.